Hello, welcome back to my channel. What do you do when the paint doesn't match? This car came in for a wide body installation and it did have this bumper for the wide body. I removed the original bumper and I installed this one. I did paint it, but the paint did not match. So what do you do? Well, you gotta repaint it. You gotta repaint it. There's no uh, way around it. So I removed everything. This part I'm not gonna remove. It is extremely difficult to install. I'm just gonna cover it up and uh, go from there cover it up as best as possible so that uh, there's no paint going into that but that's what i'm going to be doing right now what i'm doing i'm just sanding it down let me show you how i'm doing that because this paint is brand new the paint that it's on this bumper and on the flares that this car has all i'm doing is scuffing it down and the way i'm doing it is with a maroon scotch bright i had showed you this trick before all you gotta do get your scotch bright place it on a velcro uh, sanding disc and it'll stick to it it'll stick to it all you gotta do is just sand it down and it'll give you a perfect surface for that new paint that's coming up As you can see it's extremely simple with this uh, technique just uh, scuff it down all you're looking for is for it to be sanded and that is it so let me just finish sanding this and uh, prepare the booth so that I can start painting it here we go everything has been scuffed down everything has been sanded now I did cover this with tape reason being is that this is extremely hard to remove um, i did place it it is brand new but i don't want to remove it and break anything on it so i'd rather just cover it up it is extremely hard to install and to remove so that's the reason that's there but everything else is uh ready to go i do not need to apply sealer i do not need to apply anything I'm gonna start applying the paint right on top of this why because this paint is brand new this paint is brand new the thing is that it didn't match so once scuffing it down it is like if you're just continuing with the coats okay it's the same thing so I'm gonna start applying the paint then the clear and we'll be done Real quick, for those of you that are interested, I'm going to be using the no-name brand, the Z-Gun from Spray Gunner with a 1.3 tip.
There it is, the first coat. I'm going to be applying three coats, so uh, I'll bring you back once the third coat has been applied so that I can uh, show you and then we'll start applying that clear. All right, the three coats have been applied. Now I'm just going to wait 15 minutes for it to dry. Bring a tack rag, clean it up, start applying that clear. The clear I'm going to be using, let me show you. This is the clear I'm going to be using, the High Q TC5800. Right there with Slow Hardener. Yeah, it's about 95 in here, 95 degrees in here. So I do need Slow Hardener, but that's the clear I'm going to be using. Now for the clear, I am using the same gun, same settings and everything. The only thing I changed was the air cap. This is the clear coat air cap CC1X. That's a clear that's uh the only thing I changed on the gun.
And there it is. After repainting it, fixing the color, came out looking good. Now all they gotta do is add the wheels, and they're good. And this will be it, guys. This will be it for this video. Uh, this is a a mistake that uh, can occur while painting, but there's a way you fix it. And this is it. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week. See you this coming Wednesday. And also, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And thank you very much, guys. Like always, God bless.